Hey, this is Emmett with Clawhammer Supply, and in this video, we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to use our 15 amp digital brewing controller. First and foremost, if you don't have a GFCI outlet in the area where you're going to be brewing, simply pick up one of these adapters, and this will make sure you're safe during your brew day. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get uh, this plugged in and our controller plugged in to power. Next, we're going to plug the heating element into the spot that says element. And then we're going to plug the pump into the spot that says pump. The last connection you need to make is from the controller to the uh, PT100 temperature probe. Uh, if you don't have this plugged in, the PID on the controller will throw an error. This always needs to be plugged in. The operation of the controller is very simple. Just turn the main power on. The PID will go through a boot up sequence. The uh, red line will tell you the current temperature of the liquid that the probe's measuring. And then the green line below that is gonna show you what the set value is. Uh, so you can see it's reading 88.1 for the uh, current temperature and 135 for the set temperature. In order to change the set value, all you need to do is hit the left arrow over and that'll make the cursor blink. And then you just arrow over to whatever you wanna change. So we wanna set it to 152. We'll put that up to 150 and then scroll back over here to two. And then just hit set. That's 150. Oh, that's one. And that's 153. You also need to know how to count. You gotta know how to count. So let's go ahead and change that to 152. And then at this point, the controller is gonna send information to the element that it's time to heat up. But in order for that to function properly, you have to turn the element switch on. The last switch on here is for the pump operation. It's a simple on or off. Turn it on, you're gonna have the pump going, and simple enough, turn it off, kills the pump. That was the basic overview of how to create a set point on the controller. Some folks are gonna wanna switch this to a manual mode. This comes in handy when you're doing a boil and you wanna set it to 100% of power. Um, also useful if you're gonna be using this to distill, you can put it in the manual mode and it works well for that as well. In order to get into manual mode, you will see there's an A slash M as in Mary button, AM right there. What you wanna do is just hold that button and you can see now we're in manual mode. If you hit set, it stops blinking. And then you can see here, we are at 100%. If we wanted to ramp this down to 80, same as uh, setting a set point, just arrow over and scroll up to eight there. And there you're at a percentage of power set at 80. If you wanna get back out of manual mode, it's as simple as holding the AM button down again for a couple seconds and that'll kick you back down to your set value. One thing you may want to do when you first get your kettle is run an auto tune. And what that does is just calibrates the PID to your brewing vessel and the amount of water you're going to be brewing. If you're going to be brewing full five gallon batches, you want to fill your vessel up with seven and a half gallons or so of water, whatever most of your recipes call for. If you're going to be doing two and a half, three gallon batches, just lower the amount of water to, to your full mash volume uh, for the smaller batches, three and a half, four gallons, um, whatever size you're doing. Um, so you can see we have our kettle uh, full, a little bit over seven gallons of water, and we're simply gonna run an auto tune on our kettle. This isn't 100% necessary. They're pretty darn accurate from the factory. Um, they might overshoot a tiny bit, 
but if you want to run auto tune, it's a simple thing to do, um, and it dials everything in perfect. So in order to do this, we basically want to heat our kettle up to 142. I always like to turn the pump on and recirculate while it's heating up so you get even temperature throughout the kettle. So I turn the pump on, and what I'm gonna do is come back when we're at 142 degrees, and then we're gonna set the set point to 152, run an auto tune, and the PID will ramp up to 152, ramp past it, cool back down to 152, and it does that a few times to uh, calibrate the PID. So we have the set value at 142. As soon as our kettle reaches that temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and start the auto-tune process. And what we're gonna do is change the set value from 142 to 152 and then run the auto-tune. And basically the auto-tune is gonna ramp up from 142, shoot to 152, cool back down, pass, go back and forth a few times past 152 and basically calibrate the PID to figure out how much energy it needs to maintain that set point. All right, we are at 142 and we're gonna go ahead and uh, change the, the set point to 152 and start the auto-tune process. And you can see on the uh, controller, we overshot by 0.7 of a degree. Um, and that's one of the main reasons you would want to run an auto-tune, just to, to dial it in a little bit better. So first we're going to set it to 152, and I picked 152 since it's a pretty standard mash temp. Um, and then what we're going to go do now to start the auto-tune process is hold the set button down, let go, and here you see AT is at no. We're going to change that to yes, hit set. And then just cycle through by hitting set two more times. And here you can see the AT is flashing. And that just lets you know the auto tune is in process. And then this will take anywhere from like 10 minutes to 45 minutes, maybe a little longer, um, just depending. As soon as that AT stops flashing, your auto tune is complete and you're ready to brew. Uh, this only needs to be done once. And once you do it once, it's set. I just wanted to give a quick update. The auto tune finished. Um, I timed it, it took 13, 14 minutes uh, to finish. Uh, and you can now see that we're rock steady at 152. Um, so definitely recommend doing that when you first set up your system. If not, not gonna be the end of the world, but this'll, this'll make you rock, rock steady. Thanks for watching. Check out our YouTube channel for videos on brewing, setting up our brewing system, and assembling the heating element kit.